Madam, congratulations on a two in a row. It's a, a marvellous achievement for a rogue. And did, did the, you had to do it the hard way today. It wasn't a defensive full game, but uh, you did what you had to do. Yeah, look, uh, the ambition start of every year is to try and win a championship, um, but one game at a time. So the back-to-back -back wasn't really discussed a whole lot within the group. But obviously, if you get to a final, you're, you're 65 <laughs> minutes away from it. So, yeah. you know, for, for the group of players that are there, um, it's fantastic to do that. Yeah. Because I think we were a good team last year, and I think they can be regarded as a very good team to do back-to-back. -back. Absolutely. It takes a great team to win one. It takes a super team to win two. I guess in the statement, they were coming to town, kind of new kids on the block. You expected that they would throw everything at you. They did in the first half. Mm -hmm. They got a one and off a lot of position, but your backs are just tremendous. Yeah, look, I suppose, uh, again, it's not something we talked about much, but the facts are that we haven't conceded a goal in two years domestically. So, I mean, that's all down to defensive structures, not just the actual six backs, but the lads out the field putting the pressure on. In a time, we're always going to bring a, a big game today. You know, I've watched them, I've actually seen all their games this year, and, you know, they didn't get yeah. to the final by fluke. You know, they ground out every game they played, and they've some good footballers. And look, as you said, they're young, they'll be back. Um, but for us today, really, it was about being patient, doing the right things at the right times and we didn't always do the right things we were yeah. disappointed with a few things in the first half but look at, at the end of the day the second half I thought we were much better um, and you know they had a few chances and the young fellow goals for Sarah made a great save at one stage but that young lad he didn't make a splendid save yeah, yeah. but look uh, joking aside we're delighted I think um, I think you never ever get something just because you worked hard you know but uh, this group have worked hard they're good lads um, but they, they know themselves after the disappointment last week with the hurling that you know you're only two or three minutes away from from winning and then you see you losing and I think that probably helped us today. It must have been great man management like to pick him up. What do you do when a choose tonight? Do you just say forget about it or what? You know. Um, well, I, I, know. Didn't have, I didn't have a whole lot to do, Nicholas. I mean, the lads on Sunday night straight afterwards up in the club were, were adamant they didn't want to be looking into the abyss for the winter having lost two finals. And I suppose that just is testament to the character that they have, you know. And I'm not talking about the more mature or the older players, it's the younger lads as well, you know. They, they had a great opportunity today to try and, you know, if you want to call it, maybe make up for last week. And we'll never make up for last week yeah. because it was a huge disappointment for us. But, you know, in fairness, um, they were determined that today they weren't going to they weren't going to come up short. Yeah, and they wanted to give their support or something back as well, yeah. I suppose. Not that they, not that they, had, that they owed the main thing, but... Uh, but uh, uh, Back to back is hard work, it is hard work, and it's two years now you haven't conceded any goal, and that's a, a testament to the way you play. You're mean in the back and in your forwards. You've, you've tremendous forwards, you didn't get a chance maybe to display it today, like with the kind of game it was. Like, but. Look, yeah, I mean, as I said to you, as long as we were a point ahead at the end of the final whistle, that's all that mattered to me and to the lads. And yeah. you know, we probably knocked, I think we got four, five up almost in the second half. Indeed, which five, probably, yeah. Which probably really gives us give us give us a bit of belief that you know we'd have to concede two goals and that's just losing. Yeah, you're, you're heading to Munster. Yes, but we we won't be focusing on that tonight, no, or maybe even tomorrow night. Shane is putting pressure on the lads there now yeah. behind you to uh, to stay focused, but we won't for the next forty eight hours. And when we go into Munster, jokes aside, we are going to try and acquit ourselves well yeah. uh, and represent the county well. And you know, I think any day we go out, we don't take it for granted. So. I've no, we'll I, I, no, no, she will do that. Keep the, the town tidy, you know, today, today Paul. Uh, we will do our best to keep it tidy. <laughs> Listen, enjoy the night, yeah. Paul. Thanks, Thanks very man. much. Super manager, super team. Well done. Yeah. Thanks, and keep going. Thanks.